scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne Secrets. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, baby. Come chill with me, the Empress, in the secret chalet located in Champagne City for some grown discussions and bubbly banter. Over here, we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink and chaos. We try to keep it cute. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. And if you're a non-alcoholic kind of confidant, then grab you a non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. If you're listening to me in the morning, go ahead and throw some orange juice in and make it a mimosa. Do me a favor, on your way in, hit that like and subscribe and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop a new show. For today, I'm sipping on, you already know, Moet and Chandon Nectar Imperial Rosé. And I hear what you're saying, it's called Rose, let me be great. (laughs) So for today, I know you see the screen. I have a question I've been pondering, right? Why do so many of us feel the need to alter our bodies to fit whatever this societal idea is of perfection? Like seriously, why are we so hung up on achieving this quote unquote flawless look? I mean, think about it. From cosmetic surgeries to extreme dieting, We're constantly bombarded with messages telling us we're not good enough as we are, right? But where does all this pressure come from? And why is it that we let it it consume us so much? Someone said you're fat. Someone said you're too big. Your stomach is too big. Your lips are too big. Your nose is too big. We're so sensitive to the point where we'll go out and change our entire existence just because someone said so? Why are we so enamored with public opinion that we're willing to put ourselves in danger to fit in? Do you realize that someone is always going to have something to say? If you get braids, someone will say they have a problem with that. If you get weaves, someone will have a problem with that. If you get a tattoo, someone will have a problem with that. I mean, if we're going to talk about it, let's talk. Scoot up. When are we going to be okay with not being perfect? Because nothing is perfect. No one is perfect. You'll never be perfect. Perfect is the inability to be flawed. And none of us are. Not you. Not me. Not the people talking about you. If they're not feeding you, trucking you or financing you, their opinion shouldn't matter to you. And even if they are, if they can't accept you for you, find another financier. Roly has had 50 11 surgeries to attain a body she will never have due to her bone structure. And she wants to convince herself that she's okay. She's not. She's insecure. And if you feel like all of these surgeries are going to make her secure with herself, then you're about as dumb as she is. She has a nasty attitude and she feels that attaining the perfect body and becoming this quote unquote bad itch with a bee will give her some leverage to continue to have a bad attitude to hide the fact that she really doesn't like herself. A surgery isn't going to help you like yourself or love yourself. A surgery just masks to the untrained eye what you're lacking on the inside. Outside surgery does not fix inside issues. It doesn't fix abandonment. But you get your body done hoping someone will see the changes you've made and decide to stay. They won't. It doesn't. 
I believe it's time that we started having open and honest conversations about all these insecurities. But see, y'all don't really want that because it's not toxic enough. A botched body is more important than your state of mind, child. As a mother? See, the problem is we're in a society now that doesn't want to work for anything. We want everything instantaneous. We want fame to be instantaneous. We want money to be instantaneous. We don't want to work for anything. Everywhere we look, we're surrounded by images of perfect bodies. Instagram models have had us so dehydrated to attain a certain look, but half of them don't even have it because it's Photoshopped. It's airbrushed. It's digitally manipulated. Trust me, I know. I'm a graphic designer. So we go and lay on these tables and we get cut up. And now we're coming out with complications. And with all of the people who are saying they had theirs removed, you're still going to go lay down like, nah, uh not me. And how many of them with the perfect bodies have unalived themselves because the body doesn't make you happy. Don't you realize that, dumb, dumb, diddy? Don't you realize that as long as you're searching for imperfection, you'll always find something else wrong? Are you going to cut that too? Here's the thing with Roly, right? She realized that if you have a bigger butt, it minimizes how big your stomach looks in comparison to it. So she went and got a bigger butt after she already got a bigger butt. You can have the same size stomach as someone else with a bigger butt and their stomach will look smaller in comparison to yours because their butt minimizes the appearance of it. It works the same with press. Stop chasing waterfalls and stick to the rivers and lakes that you're used to. Aren't, don't you remember the song? <laughs> Go to the gym and do it the right way. There's more value placed in what you work for as opposed to what you were given because you'll always remember what you invested to get it. And while you're spending 28000 on a bad botched budget body, Roly, do your son have a college fund? You can tell girls who never had money before because what are you investing in? What are you investing for the future? Do y'all not get, we have no clue where this economy is going to go. Do you not realize how in debt we are to China right now? Do you not realize how many government shutdowns we've almost had and every dollar you get, you're putting it on your neck in your hair and in your ass. Come on now, scoot up. It don't even move. (laughs) She's shaking it and it's not even moving. Do you not realize that there are a lot of plastic surgeons who will not do this surgery because they said it is the most dangerous of the plastic surgeries that they won't even touch it? But we're so dehydrated to fit in, we say to hell with whether or not I make it off the table. I just need some ass. Now we have E.T. who didn't even have a bad body, less known fat to begin with. And this is how you know they don't know what the hell they're doing. Just chasing a fad, right? You get off the table and you go to a reunion to fight and your body hasn't even healed. You've had a huge needle inside your body sucking and pulling and prodding and rearranging and you didn't even give it a chance to settle before you took your attention seeking ass to the reunion to fight. How damn dumb can you be? And you have children, both of y'all. It's heartbreaking and it's angering. Who's going to look different if everybody's walking around looking like army ants from Bugs Life? True beauty isn't about fitting into a mold or conforming to someone else's standards. It's about embracing your own uniqueness, celebrating your flaws, and loving yourself unconditionally and authentically. 
It's about accepting the things you cannot change, changing the things you can, and having the wisdom to know the damn difference. That's all I have for this one, Confidants. But before we go, I want to give you a sneak preview of my new channel, Inky Noir Champagne Mysteries, for all of the true crime lovers out there. So, go ahead and take a look. And before that, confidants, remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now check out this trailer.